Hey everybody, it's Stormstick Gaming. Welcome back to an episode of Pokemon X. In the last episode, we explored a bunch of Lumio City. And even though I said that we were going to be going on to the next route in the next episode last time, um, in this episode, I'm going to be doing some side stuff. Um, on the bottom screen mostly. And those two things are Pokemon Ami, which is where you can interact and pet and feed your Pokemon, and Super Training, which is where you can boost your Pokemon's base stats. So let's get started. I'm going to first switch to the bottom screen now. I decided to stay in the gate because in uh, Pokemon Ami, hold on, this will take a second. There we go. Camera. There we go. In Pokemon Ami, you can uh, pet your Pokemon, and the music, uh, let's push it on top screen, some very, even very powers of Pokemon, pet them, feet, sex of Pokemon, because you can play activities, the Pokemon's out, and you go for cool items, have fun decorating and stuff. So, I think I'll do, uh, Charmander's in my party. Uh, I think I'll do Pichu first. Now, I'm actually not using a proper stylus, I'm using... I think it's a nut or a screw and it's turned around, so I have to... Oh, that's so cute! It's... Hold out for my name, so we can... My stylus is going to be on the screen for a second. You can pet it. And, darn it, camera. Just turn it. <laughs> Cam. Mm. I don't want animation, okay. Just darn it. Get. Camera. Okay. Okay, st stop doing that. Keep seeing me through the command. Oh my gosh. You can, like. Yeah, stop doing that. <laughs> you can, like, beat it if you. I got a Pokeball out here like this. That's so cute. If, if you touch its cheek. Oh my god. Ah! Hammer. There we go. If you touch its cheeks, it'll actually shock you, which is very creative. I think it likes being petted in the ears. Like, if its mouth opens, like, really wide and stuff like that. Oh, what? No. Not like that. <laughs> It'll be really happy. So let's go to, uh, Fro uh, Frogadier and Waltz real quick. Uh. Touch. Screen. Nope. Darn it. Switch. Okay. Let's go to Frogadier. Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Sorry I didn't do this when it was a pokey, but oh well. Oh, gosh darn it. I pushed the camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there. So let's feed the Pokeball. Let's say pink one, I suppose. Sorry, this video is kind of bad quality. Okay, so let's go to Waltz this time. That's the only one we have left. Oh my gosh, my hands are getting tired. Oh, the DS, I guess. Isabella, as it's called. Oh my gosh, my hand. Aww. It's probably going to be one of the only, uh, videos I cover these two uh, off topic things because I will probably be doing this off screen you see wasting your Pokemon's affection and playing games with it allows them to like get added chance of like critical hits and like, do it on easy uh, this thing I'm best at is called head it after you tap balls to make Pokemon hit yarn I really apologize this bad quality but Oh my gosh, it's gonna be tortured. There we go. Oh 
Oh my gosh, my hand is like killing me. Now you have to like cap each of them when the ball run comes. Oh my gosh, hey. This is so cumbersome. <laughs> If you hit it just right, you'll be able to get more points, but I can't do that because, oh my gosh. See, this is why I won't be recording this that much, because... And problems. Okay. There we go. If you hit the big yard and ball at the end, you'll get uh, 50 points. So I got a score of 127. Better amateur, but... And again, I was doing it where... And I mean, actually, it's not great. Now, there are other games where I'm not nearly as good as that of them, so I probably won't cover them. And it's happy. Like, eventually, when you rub it a lot, it'll give you a musical note. And, like, there's some places Pokemon don't like to be rubbed, so. Like, if they start frowning, don't rub there. But. Anyway, that's all Pokemon. I mean, it can give you benefits like uh, happiness evolution. Like, points, happiness points. Oh, and we got something for playing with as well a lot. Um, if you got, like, happiness points, critical hits in battle. Sometimes it can survive fatal blows that it wouldn't normally survive. Shrug up status effects and stuff like that. But it's really cool. You can get a uh, maximum affection of five hearts. And affection is how you gauge, like, right, how well you're doing with your Pokemon. How close it is to getting those effects. Which usually starts at getting at three hearts somewhat rarely, though. But anyway, this is Super Training. Oh, ST, ST what you training Pokemon. Super Training is a little sports game. Training Pokemon that it's the boss will answer like a boring blast. I'll shoot you on to the goal say, Cool Train is training bad to get strong. Now, uh, excuse me, the result of your training will vary by the training bag. You just gotta try them all. Uh, okay, so, ST. Do some special training, bring out Pokemon's best. It's fully trained Pokemon. Let's start with that button in the lower left corner of the super training button. So we go to there. Done with super training. Now, it's just training regimen. Oh crap, I have to touch the screen for this one. Okay, good. The good thing is this happens on the top screen, so this will be less cumbersome. Now, you hold it on the bottom screen, that giant, right there's the boom bot, hit those goals before you get hit. You circle, I love the music in Super Train, by the way. Uh, you circle pad on your channel with the S2 movie Pokemon, virtual space, tap and drag on the lower screen to shoot, aim and shoot a special ball at the goal, and the white goals that appear in front of the boom bots and shoot like mad. Good luck, time to look out. You may not talk, um, you have to like touch it on the bottom screen, like relative to where you think it'll hit the balloon bot? Again, I'm being horrible. Like, and you can also move like this. Ah, camera. That is the worst time for the camera to fall down. Oh my gosh. Okay. Shoot. Time. I'm going to pissing one out. You actually have a time limit. We always go you over. If Great, I'm probably not going to need more or anything. Okay. Okay, I know it's sort of quality. Okay. So just keep shooting it. And move. I apologize, but the camera is spazzing out there. Just like Bowser's in this will be a bit less quality because I have to keep switching streaks. And now we gained a uh, buff to our defense. Because we did that training. You know, like, it says on the bottom screen, you always put one face sets to make it even stronger than before. We get a strength bag. We can get training bags to boost the base stats more. And there are other different regimens we can do. Actually, mm, um. Yeah, we can do some work on the training bags. Um, uh, man, it's so cumbersome. 
Uh, and we can pick the snook bag up there. Can the camera focus, please? There we go. Yes, I use stink bag. Having, uh, oh my gosh, I really apologize for the camera quality. Can I? Can, oh my gosh. I wouldn't. Good lord. There we go. Okay. Now all we have to do is tap the bag. Just keep tapping it and eventually. We get a small base stat boost, I think. So if we go back to the super training, we actually unlock. Oh shoot, we do another one. Good. Can I fit this in the video? Oh shoot. There we go, much better. And just keep shooting. You have to charge shots by holding onto the button like that. And they'll do more damage. And what? Whoa! We did that in like 15 seconds! <laughs> whoa, that was quick. I guess this is going to be another 15 minute video again and we get our booster defense. It's not like the walls really need defense, it's not what it really specializes in. But, hey. It's there, I suppose. And on the bottom screen, you know, like six more regiments. One for special, one for each of the stats: special attack, HP, attack, special defense, speed, and defense, which is really good. Do the regiments to train that respective stat. And we are going to switch back to the top screen now. And go out to the root gate to do something real quick for our video ends. And, okay. Versant Road. Car. Wait, Lucario! Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just spending some, doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get joined by his boys or were or something? And, good. Battery. Uh, Lucario. Huh, well, it seems so like Lucario likes you. Thanks, or you think so? I'll do thanks. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. There we go. Uh, focus camera. Uh, Lucario is always getting, oh, we're getting bow with my own. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry, I was on such a roll, I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Corina, the Shore City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm, sh I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. <laughs> and nods and it works off. So, this route has some tall grass. I'm going to be grinding some in this, grinding my waltz. Uh, with the XP sharing on this time. Now, I'm probably going to be doing some super training off screen. It's a Pokemon of me to boost the affection stuff and with my base stats, so in my stats seem a bit different. Uh, that's probably why. And it'll start saying things on the screen, like some flavor text, like uh, uh, Isabella is waiting for Luke's directions when I get my affection high. So I'll probably be doing all that off screen. But anyway, like I promised to end the last episode, which was episode eight, I think. We are actually going to be exploring this route in the next episode, so. Look forward to that. It's no fake out this time. I'm actually going to be exploring the route. Sorry for the side activities. I just want to get this out of the way so I can do it off screen. So see you guys next time when we explore Route 5. See you guys then.